Nationwide manhunt for a man accused in a double murder in Boston, ending in South Florida. And only on 10, we're speaking with the family of a man allegedly attacked by that suspect with a hammer while he was simply out doing his laundry. And the suspect facing a South Florida judge today, Local 10's Rush Lowe, is live in Miami Beach with the exclusive. Rush. This was a major story in the Boston area last week, and I want you to think about this. You're simply doing your laundry, and little do you know that right next to your laundry machine is a wanted murder suspect. If I could take a bullet for him, I would, you know, I would die for my dad. Danuska Sally is the only son of 56-year-old Rizvi Sally. He was brutally attacked with a hammer Friday night while doing laundry in his Miami Beach apartment. Walk with me. Uh, so there was blood drops, and uh, there was fingerprints here. And there was this huge, uh, like, uh, uh, slide of, like, of blood. Miami Beach police believe this man, Christopher Keeley, who they caught shortly after the attack, is responsible. They say charges are pending the forensic analysis of evidence recovered. I believe that he bled out here. And then he woke himself up due to the adrenaline and, and the, you know, somehow he you know, has the, the will to just survive. Keeley was a subject of a nationwide manhunt for a double murder out of Massachusetts last week where a married couple in their 70s were found stabbed to death. Do you think this guy, the suspect, was hiding out here? Yes, I believe so. I, I was holding his head while there was a hole in his back of his skull. Rizvi is in ICU. He emigrated to this country more than 25 years ago. He worked for many years at a market on 41st Street. He is beloved by the Miami Beach community. Well, while I was holding his hand and I asked him like what happened and he said that, you know, like, like he, this crazy person, like, you know, crazy, crazy, he just kept hitting me. What a nightmare for this family. This man provided for his wife and his 26 year old son and just brutally, brutally beaten. If you would like to help out this family, please go to our website at local10.com. A GoFundMe has been set up. We're live on Miami Beach. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.